All right, we got a lot of news coming out of the Royal Rumble. If you've not heard, Ronda Rousey returned, and she won the Women's Royal Rumble, last eliminating Charlotte Flair, which appears to lead to Ronda Rousey and Charlotte Flair at WrestleMania. Yep. And Brock Lesnar... So, so, real, so real quick, a lot of people... I saw a lot of people, as soon as I reported that, and I should, I should talk about this real quick, too. It was a... Uh, I had a miscommunication right before I did the show with Garrett, and uh, somebody there thought I asked if Becky Lynch was facing Ronda and said no, but I was actually asking if Charlotte Flair was. So I saw no, and it was like... But I knew that Charlotte Flair was going to be... I mean, that um, Ronda Rousey was going to SmackDown because of the Fox thing. So later, when the news broke everywhere, the same person like contacted me. Goes, no, 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 no. You, I, I thought you meant Becky Lynch. It's it's Ronda Rousey and Charlotte Flair, which you know made the most sense. So that's what that whole mix-up was last night. So anyway, um, that's why I made sure to get that thing up in the morning to uh, correct that. And um, actually, there's a couple more things off of that show that I should. Well, let's get to the other thing real quick. So uh, Brock Lesnar lost to Bobby Lashley after Paul Heyman turned on Lesnar, which was probably the finish they had planned for the day one pay-per-view to lead to WrestleMania. But instead, because of Roman well, Reigns... Well, Brock, Brock was probably going to win that match. I mean, I don't know that for sure, but I thought that Brock was winning that match. I think that this was going to be later down. This might have been the finish for whatever they were doing here or or somewhere leading. I, I had thought that... Actually, I thought this was going to be the finish to WrestleMania. Um, where Brock would turn on, um, where uh, Heyman would turn on Brock, but they did it here. So Rain, Reigns and Heyman are, I mean, I guess it's to establish Brock as the baby face and Reigns as the heel for the WrestleMania match. I thought that was pretty clear over the last few weeks. but So anyway, after losing the title, Lesnar then entered the Royal Rumble, and uh, he was number 30, and he eliminated the returning Drew McIntyre, and uh, won the Royal Rumble, and so Brock Lesnar is heading to WrestleMania for a championship match. So those are the biggest stories coming with, out of with the Roman Rumble. with Roman Reigns, obviously. Sneeze, Hello? sorry. Oh, ah. yeah, yep. So those yep. are the uh, the three big stories coming out of the Rumble. We can go over all the details here in a moment. But uh, any other details on those three stories? Uh, not really. Um, um, you know, I mean, I, I'd seen things said that the women's match finish was changed, and it was not. Um, you know, ever since, um, ever since like the deal was done for Rousey to do the show, um, and it all came out and everything, she was winning. Um, you know, that was always the finish. So, um, and I'm sure it was with Flair, even though they probably, um, I mean, there were a lot of changes probably when it, I know the men's match was kind of like taken, whatever, you know, it was, there was a lot of changes made, but I'm sure the end result was the end result. Um, and the Rousey end result was also, uh, what was scheduled and everything like that. And I know, um, as soon as like I did the reporting of the thing, you know, people were just like, you know, it should have been Becky, it should have been Becky, which at one point it was. But um, the whole thing is, is that um, as best I can tell, um, the plan is for Ronda and Becky for the 2023 WrestleMania. So it's not like, and so it's not like that match isn't happening. And of course, between now and people can get hurt, people, a million things can happen between now and 2023. But that's, that's basically the deal is that she was going to come in for two WrestleManias, but she's in. I mean, she's in as a regular. I don't know what that means as far as, like, I don't think it's going to be, I don't know that it's going to be every week, but it's like, you know, she's going to be a regular member, you know, in the sense that she's going to do big shows and everything like that. It's not just she's going to come in, you know, put over Charlotte Flair at WrestleMania and then go on her merry way. I mean, she may very well win the championship against Charlotte Flair. She probably will. She should. And then, uh, you know, she'll be around wrestling Sasha Banks and everybody else, most likely. I thought it was pretty clear when uh, the word came out that it was Charlotte at WrestleMania that she will be here from now through the next WrestleMania, and it would be Charlotte this if not, year. If not, if, if not longer. Sure, but Charlotte this year and Becky Lynch the year after. Yes, that's the plan. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio... 
We got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.